Lady Aubrey. Guess what? Hmm. I finished Kaleidoscope. Do you oh, want to see it? Of course. Let me see it. <gasps> oh, isn't my it so gosh. pretty? Sarah, it's beautiful. There's so much detail. That quilting is like popping. I love it. Oh, should you we did show fantastic. them? Thank you. Should we show them? Yeah. Let's turn it around and show them. Okay. Alrighty guys, so this is Kaleidoscope, the big reveal. So I'm so excited to reveal this to you guys and talk a little bit more about a Kaleidoscope sew along that we are launching in yep. January. I'm so excited. You gotta love a good sew along. We love sew along. Especially this time of year. Yes. Like what else are we gonna be doing? <laughs> It's cold and it's dark. <laughs> That's right. So why not come over to our Facebook group for this yes. one and stitch right alongside us. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So how many blocks is this, Sarah? Oh goodness, so we've got 36 blocks okay. in the main quilt. And what size is the sample? The sample is in, um, oh goodness, seven inches. Seven inch. It's a seven inch block. And then, of course, the the beautiful border, which we will surely show you close ups. Mm -hmm. um, but the beautiful border is included in this as well. So thirty six blocks plus the border. It's beautiful. This is our seven inch sample, and I've got a cheat sheet right here, which is a, oh oh, it's glaring on there. But a cute <laughs> little mock up of our pattern cover, and the finished size on the seven inch blocks is about forty nine inches square. It's a beautiful wall hanging size, but the, the really cool part, here's something else that I love about this, mm -hmm. is this is the seven inch, but you also made it yes. as small as a five Correct. inch and as big as a 10 inch. Yes. So if, so if you have an embroidery machine, right. you certainly yes. have a block that, or a hoop that can fit these blocks in and it. And it's not just so many those, sizes. it's t five through 10. Right. So if you have a, maybe an older machine or a smaller machine, you can do it. Yep. If you got one of those brand new top of the line embroidery machines and you need something to do on it, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep you busy. Yeah. But yeah, so finished sizes ranging um, from 34 inches square all the way up to 70 inches square. Mm -hmm. So lots of options yeah. here. And I took that package off so we don't get quite as much glare, but here's just a little bit. There's a lot of information on this pattern cover too, which I like. Um, you even get the fabric requirements okay, on the inside I was just going to so ask you how many fabrics, because I can see this in so many different colorways. Yes. We have six fabrics, including the background fabric. Okay. So in this quilt, there's actually two different background fabrics. We've got a light gray up here. Oh, okay. And then we used a white up here. But you I barely can... noticed the color change yes. you said that too. So you could put something mm -hmm. even. You could use something to contrast a little more. Or if you go, I only need one, you can just use one color yeah. in both of those areas. So yeah, it's, it's this beautiful. is a fun one. I think it stitches out a little bit quicker too, which oh. is always good. Yeah. And I think that this quilt, I know some people really like to use wool. Some people don't care for wool in their quilts. I think this quilt would be beautiful without wool, but I think this the stitching and the quilting in it really lends itself to yes. wool showing it off really well. Well, just based on sitting here, and we'll get you guys some close-up mm -hmm. videos in a second, but just sitting here, like the quilting here, I can see it popping because I, I know you used wool. I can yeah. tell it's, yeah. it's beautiful. So talk to us about the sew along piece of this. Yeah. So you're not just getting the range of block sizes Correct. and all the formats. Mm -hmm. We also are going to have, you're going to do live yeah. instruction. We have six weeks of classes, six or five. Now I don't remember. <laughs> five or six I weeks worth of classes. I think it might be I think five. we change it to five. We are going to be <laughs> sewing on Wednesdays at two o'clock from January 25th to February 22nd. Yeah. Um, so that's when our classes will be, and we'll be stitching out these blocks. And for some of the blocks, we'll have step throughs that we'll show you and we'll go into detail. It's mm -hmm. gonna be a fun little party. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have Aubrey oh. here come and stitch out a block. So it's gonna be fun. So just a little <laughs> disclaimer, I've been working at Hoop Sisters for a lot, for several years, lots of years. <laughs> I don't do any sewing or quilting. I have a full, I have a job, I have a full plate. I've got three mm -hmm. little kids. It's just not my time in life yet to have this amazing hobby. And I do other things at work. 
So I think it'll be great though, because I you've always said this too. Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't know how to do is thread yes. the machine. Yes. So if it's you the machine thread, that I don't. Uh huh. If you can thread the machine though, which we'll show her how. You guys know how to thread your machine. You can do this. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I've edited so many instructional videos. I could probably tell you the first three steps yes. without even looking at right. it. But just knowing the steps versus knowing the machine the to me are two different machine. things. Right. So I'm excited to look maybe like a fool, but also show you that. Maybe Maybe it's so easy, Aubrey, you can do it. <laughs> so come along so with us. it'll be fun, yes. Um, the other thing is we're gonna have a sort of New Year kaleidoscope party. Yes. Um, that's gonna take place in our Hoop Sisters VIP group to sort of kick everything off. By the way, I don't know if you guys know this, you're getting an advanced yeah. sneak peek of this. You're, you're like Cause you're the some YouTube. of the first to see this. Yeah, so we're not showing anyone else. Cause this um, actually does not launch until next Wednesday, January right. 4th. Right, so January 4th, we'll kick it off on Facebook, in the Facebook group and on our Facebook page. We are going to be hosting the live so alongs in the VIP Facebook yes. group. You're also going to have some stuff here on YouTube. We are going to be putting some things on YouTube. We're going to try to go live with it on mm -hmm. YouTube. And, you know, we're kind of newbies with going live on YouTube. So it's we're true. working on that. So you can join us in either place yep. to watch it. And But I would highly fun. recommend jumping into the VIP yes. Facebook group because January 4th, 5th, and 6th, we're having sort of a New Year kickoff party all things kaleidoscope. Yep. We're going to show different colorways. Yes. Um, we're just going to have fun in there, fun posts throughout the day, and just get get everybody excited. We might have some be deals. Fun. Oh. Relating to kaleidoscope. Oh, we do. So should we talk about? Are we going to talk about pricing today or no? I don't know. Sure, let's do it. Why not? We'll just give you guys all the information, and you'll be the very first ones to get this. So. There's only one thing you haven't seen yet. But you're gonna have to wait till January fourth. <laughs> but you got to see the main, the main attraction, yes. right? And the thing that you, I gotta give them a little more information. The thing Go that you guys it. haven't seen is a freebie design that you can get when you purchase Kaleidoscope, and it is not just a freebie block. Sometimes right. we give away blocks that are absolutely stunning. They are real. The blocks are super yes, cute, and fun. like this, the Santa. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. But this freebie for Kaleidoscope is an actual small wall hanging that you get that kind of coordinates with this. It's gorgeous. So it's a little like sampler wall hanging. Oh, you could like make it's one, so make fun. this for you, give the other one mm -hmm. as a gift to somebody. Yes, <laughs> lots of options. So that's, yeah. that is a value of over $30 that we are gonna give to you guys for free. You just have to join us next Wednesday when we kick this off in our Facebook group and hopefully here on YouTube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just have to join us and you can kind of learn a little more about how to get that. Mm -hmm. So, so are we talking, what What were you gonna say? Go ahead. There's a couple different ways that you can purchase this. Yes. So the first way will be strictly download only, um, which is nice. You get it right away. You can get going right away. Mm -hmm. And um, you get all the files if you yeah. purchase download yeah. only. You get them right away. You can start right away or you can yeah. stitch along with our planned um, sew along and actually sew right with us each week. Absolutely. Um, the cost for download only is $69. So incredibly reasonable price mm -hmm. point. Um, it's got a lot of beautiful blocks, gorgeous quilting, plus you would get the free bonus, okay? That's right. Which we aren't showing you till January 4th. <laughs> um, and then the second option is the download has a drop, that product will have a drop down menu where you can add a USB. So if you want us to ship you a USB, we'll probably ship those a little bit later mm -hmm. after um, the sew along has begun and you can work off the downloadable files. So that's just $10 more. So that would be $79 to get the downloadable files plus What's the that? USB sent to you. Um, and then we have one oh, more. This is exciting. Seriously, like this, this is a big this is yeah. a big discount too. We typically yeah. don't do discounts, no, especially on brand new releases. But or bundles. we're we're yeah. excited for twenty twenty three, yeah. so we want to do some exciting things for you guys yes. as well. Yes, we want to give you something to look forward to, and I think this is this is amazing. Yes. So, um, the third and final option has the biggest bang for your buck, the most value. You get the most with it, um, and what that is is you get the downloadable files, you get the USB shipped to you. You also get 15 yards of Battleizer shipped to you, 
By the way, 15 yards is a great middle of the road because yes. it depends on what block size you're making, how much you'll need. You could do you might most have, block sizes, I would say. Right. And, on your hoop. and if you do um, the smallest, you'll probably have a little left over. Mm -hmm. If you do the 10 inch, you might need a little bit more, but 15 mm -hmm. will cover more majority. Mm -hmm. So you get the 15 yards of Batalyzer, plus you get the free bonus That's as right. long as you order between January 4th and the very start on January 25th. Um, so that's a lot of stuff that you're getting. So typically that would be over, that would be it's about right a $200, 200 value, mm -hmm. $200 value. And we are selling it for $149. So you can save about $50 it's crazy. by doing that, which yeah. is really exciting. Yeah. It I is. would I would love to save fifty dollars. Where else yeah. can we save fifty dollars? <laughs> so, so that one, like we said, that one has the biggest bang for your buck. You get the most. You're gonna need the battleizer anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so we're very very excited that that price that we've set that price point yeah. and that it's and it's limited time like, yeah, only. So yeah. you, you, if you want yes. it, just keep that in mind. Yes, it, it does. That pricing will expire the day we start the so along. So January twenty fifth. January twenty yeah. fifth. So you basically have, you know, a couple twenty days or so. Something like that. Yeah. To make a decision. Yep. And then after that it will be um well then it'll be the one sixty three whatever. And then that the bonus is like a, a thirty five dollar value. Right. So lots lots of good stuff. So lots you can of options. Lots of options. I like <laughs> options. You you know, I like options. That's, right. That's all I got to say. But. Yeah. All right, what did we forget? Anything cool and anything else? I think we got most things. And I think the next thing I wanna do though, is I want to take them and stitch a block out mm -hmm. for them. And so, show you some close-ups. Yes, we'll show you close-ups and join me and we'll stitch one of these blocks out. So you guys get to see it first and you're the first to actually see some of the steps of one of the blocks and yeah. stitch it out with me. Yeah, which will give you a taste of the live instruction to come. Now, what do you think about, I feel like, and I could be way off base here. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna stitch some of this out. I think this is great for beginners yes. and pros alike because pros, you don't have to necessarily stick with Sarah and wait for Sarah's videos right. or anything like that. You can kind of breeze through it and have some fun with us. But for beginners, I feel like the size is perfect. Yes. It's super it's manageable. manageable. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the blocks, speak to that a little. I think the blocks are not, they're very detailed, but they're not so detailed that you're gonna get lost in a block for mm -hmm. an hour. Mm -hmm. um, so they'll stitch out a little quicker. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite as intimidating. I, In my opinion, it's not quite as intimidating as, um, you know, when you're stuck in a block for an mm -hmm. hour. Um, so I think that's good. I think, you know, we've said before, any of our projects are good for first timers or newbies that are doing this. Um, some of them just have more detail, more stitching, more time, more fabrics, more of your time. Um, so I, I, if I were starting somewhere, I would start with a quilt like this, mm. about this size and about this level of detail, I think is perfect to start out. And well, I also like you think, said, go ahead. I also think the live instruction, I mean, yes. that's something that the replays will remain available. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're never, we're having in our guides. You always can access that. I think the live instruction mixed with the type of quilt this is yes. really, really lends itself yes. to someone who maybe hasn't ever done it. Well, and the live instruction is great because it's, you get a little more detail than if you're just doing it on your own and it's just fun. Yeah. It's just fun it's to fun. watch and stitch out yeah. with us. And, and you guys, they always whenever we do kind of like live videos like that, they always sneak out little tips that maybe mm -hmm. aren't necessarily in the instructions, but they kind of explain why, why you're, you need this, why, and you know, just that little extra piece that you don't get yeah. in just the instructions, yeah. which the instructions are great, but just right. having someone talk it out with you is really. And that reminds me, I think sometimes joining the blocks mm -hmm. together can kind of be the most intimidating part of yeah. this, right? I could see that. So you're done with everything in the hoop and then you go, oh shoot. Now how what? Do I, <laughs> I have to trim this? What is a trimmer by George? How do I pin my blocks? How do I join them? So on right. the very last week, we'll cover all of that and we will well, we'll cover trimming throughout the sew along, mm -hmm. um, but we'll cover joining and assembling your quilt in the very last week and give mm -hmm. you tips on how to pin to get the best, to line up your blocks the best and things like that. So yeah, yeah there's there's it's, always more detail in a sew along. Right, absolutely. And 
the fact that no matter what price range you're you go into this at you get that to me is really cool mm -hmm. like i don't think you can put a price tag on that and That's if you right. did it would be really high yes <laughs> <laughs> and so, they go you want what for that yeah exactly exactly so <laughs> So, okay. Yeah. Well, why don't you get Stitch in a Block? Okay. We'll show them how simple this really is. Sounds and good. And then I'll make a fool of myself potentially, and I'll stitch a block during. Are we doing so that during along. the the New Year's kickoff party for this, or sure. during the sell along? I think I think we should do both. Oh Lord, help me! <laughs> Let's do She'll it. She'll be a pro by the end of the sew along. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I'm excited to give it a whirl. Yes. I mean, I've stitched maybe a block or two in my time. But you know a little bit. I've never done a whole a whole one. So well, good. You can demo how easy it is then. All right, I well, got this. I'm gonna take them to my sewing room, and we're gonna go stitch out one of these blocks. Have fun. <laughs> Okay, here we are in my office sewing room and I'm gonna change up what we're gonna do a little bit. I know in the previous clip, I said that we were going to stitch a block of kaleidoscope, but instead I think we'll just stitch out a block from the bonus so that you guys can get a peek of what the bonus looks like too. Um, so this is one of the blocks from the little bonus wall hanging that you can get for free. And we'll tell you details on how to get that for free during the live launch. Um, oh goodness, which is next week already. So we're going to stitch this block out together. I only need three fabrics for this block. So I've got my two different background fabrics, my applique fabric, and then I am going to choose to use the optional wool batting for this block. Um, cause I just, I, I like the look of it for this block in particular. So before we go to the machine, I will walk you guys through, um, kind of instructions a little bit. Cause I think looking at instructions is always helpful. Um, and I just, I love our instructions. They're very detailed, so you won't miss anything. Um, but one of the pages in here, you'll find a nice little supply list for the bonus blocks. The, these blocks come in five inches and eight inches. So you have two different options for that. And then it, I also provide you pictures of two different layouts. And you get these layouts just by switching the orientation of the block in the center of the bonus. So there's the first and second layout options. And then you'll get um, more details on how to cut your fabric for each of the sizes and each of the blocks. And then of course, I'll show you guys these as we're stitching it out, but you get step-by-step -step detailed instructions. So if you've not done um, anything quilt in the hoop before, and this is your very first project, we will walk along with you um, exactly on how to do each step. So first things first, we're gonna start stitching. And I already have my batalizer, which is our batting and stabilizer um, combination. I've got that in my hoop and I did step one, which was, now I didn't use water soluble thread here, but our instructions will tell you use a water soluble thread and sew your placement stitch. So I've got my placement stitch sewn and now we'll go over to my machine and we will start on step two. Okay, so like I said, we already did step one, which was that placement stitch. And I just did it in that blue thread so that you guys can see it on the screen. And now for step two, our instructions say that this is an optional step. And this is for adding the wool batting if you want a little more dimension in your quilt. And I do this time. And so I already cut my wool batting to size and I press the edges down to prepare it. And now continuing with that water soluble thread, we'll sew the tack down. Okay, so we're done tacking down the wool batting and I'll just kind of show you guys what that looks like. So it just tacks it down with a nice zigzag stitch all along the edges of that. And again, you'd want to use water soluble thread. You know, I'm doing this with the blue and then I was thinking my background fabric is white, so it might peek through a little bit, but that's okay. Um, so for our third step, we will also continue on with the water soluble thread and we will just sew the placement stitch right onto the wool batting. 
this placement stitch will just let you know where to place your fabrics. I've got our placement stitch there. This one's just a really simple placement stitch just to show you how we're dividing the background fabrics. And we're on step four already. And for step four, let's see, what do our instructions say? They say to take, I believe it's fabric one, and we'll align that in the placement stitch at the top of the block, and we'll tack that down with water-soluble thread. So we haven't even had to change our thread quite yet. Okay, there is fabric one all tacked down. And now for this next step, we'll be sewing a seam um, right along the center um, of the block on a diagonal. So when we're sewing a seam, we don't want to use water soluble thread. That wouldn't be good. So we're gonna switch just to a neutral thread and the needle. And now, let's see if I can get you guys to see this a little better. Now that I've got the neutral thread and the needle, I'll move on to my next step and we'll take fabric two. And I am going to place that right side down and I will approximately align the raw edges of fabric two with the raw edges of fabric one. And now we'll just sew our seam. So now we've got fabric two tacked down and we're moving on to step six. And for step six, we're gonna take fabric two and flip our fabric right side up and we'll just finger press and smooth out the fabric. We're gonna switch back to water soluble thread and the needle and this step's gonna sew the tack down of fabric two as well as some a placement stitch for our applique. Okay, so we just finished step six. We've got our background fabrics placed and with the water soluble thread, we've got our placement stitch done. And now we're gonna take fabric three, which is what we're using for our applique. We'll lay it over the placement stitch and continuing with the water soluble thread, we'll tack that down. Okay, now that we have our applique fabric, fabric three tacked down, I'm gonna use our hoop scissors mini and I will trim close to the, the tack down stitching on all sides. The hoop scissors mini are really nice too. If you guys aren't familiar with them, they've got, a, they're really sharp. They've got a nice point to them to get in those applique pieces. And then they've got that offset handle to make trimming while um, your fabric and your black are still in the hoop a little bit easier. 
Okay, so we've got fabric three all trimmed up. And now what step are we on? We're on step eight and we're gonna sew the quilting onto fabric two um, using, let's see what our instructions say. I'm just gonna use a thread um, that kind of coordinates and matches fabric two. Yep, instructions say thread that matches fabric two. All right, now step nine is gonna sew some really beautiful feather quilting onto fabric one. Um, and I'm gonna do that with a thread that is a, a little bit different, kind of coordinates with my applique fabric. And after that, then I'll show you the quilting on the two different fabrics. Okay, so we're done with the quilting on the two background fabrics. So you can see fabric two just has some simple line quilting and then some beautiful feathered quilting up here on fabric one. And that wool, again, I don't know if you guys can see this on the video, but it really gives a lot of dimension, especially um, to the background fabric. Sorry, we've got our quilting already. So now our next step, let me get this on my machine. If my arms are long enough. Our next step is step 10, and it says, sew the decorative quilting with the thread color of your choice. So I'm gonna use a green thread that'll coordinate with um, my binding fabric a little bit. So we are done with um, the detailed quilting over here on the sides and like I said I used a really pretty dark green for that and now we are moving on to well we would have been on step 11 so step 11 would you will add your backing fabric in the hoop if you want to make it that way I'm gonna skip that and just add one piece backing and we'll go more into that at the end of this video um, so now we're on step 12 and you'll just use thread color of your choice and it will sew some detail onto fabric three Okay, now we just have two more steps to do. And this next step is just some decorative stitching. So you'll just use the thread color that looks best for your block. Okay, we are already on the very last step. The last step will sew the satin stitching around fabric three. So you just wanna use a thread that matches fabric three. Gotta trim this thread, otherwise it's gonna bug me. Alrighty guys, here is the final product. Again, this is the this is a bonus design that you can get with the purchase of Kaleidoscope, which is pretty cool because this is a wall hanging all on its own. If you just keep repeating these blocks, it would turn out beautiful. Um, so I, I gotta show you again, by the way, the, the quilting in the border is just so pretty. So is the feathered quilting. Um, so you'll have to join us if you want next um, Wednesday, January 4th through Friday, January 6th. Um, we're doing a live launch. Um, of Kaleidoscope where we will announce our design and our sew along on Facebook because remember you guys are getting the first sneak peek of this sew along so I can't wait to start it I hope you guys will join us um, at least for the Facebook live so that you can see some of the fun things that we'll be doing there um, but thank you so much for joining us for this week's episode of Sew with Sarah I hope you guys had fun um, seeing the quilt for the very first time and we'll see you next Friday mm -hmm.